Hello, thanks for joining us to learn about retargeting users from previous campaigns or messages. The objective of retargeting users is to essentially push your users to do something they haven't yet done. As the example that we'll use throughout this video, let's imagine that we are a scheduling application and we've sent specific users a message to schedule something, and they still have not done that action. So here, for example, we can uh, target all users who have not done that specific action, as well as trigger the message based on different message templates. I've created an example within the Lean Plum dashboard. Let's take a look. Here, I've selected a in-app message as my retargeting example, but you could, however, choose a push notification, an email, a webhook, or an app inbox message. Because I've chosen a in-app message, I have the options to daisy chain my messages together. Here, for example, the first message is a title, don't forget, and the user has the option to accept or cancel. If the user accepts this uh, specific message, then I'm here including them into a deep link. Although, of course, you have the options to send them anywhere on the web as well, or to your own preferred link. Here, if the user chooses to have no action, then nothing happens. They'll just close out of the, of the message in the app itself, and they'll resume their session. Now, in terms of targeting, how do we find these users and how do we retarget them? Because Lean Plum out of the box collects and creates events for messages that you send through Lean Plum, I am able to include a occurrence of as well as accept of. So here in targets, I've included a fictitious event uh, for a message. Uh, it's called first scheduled message is sent. This means that uh, this specific user will have been sent this message. And I'm including another um, targeting parameter, which is accept, message accept. So here I'm saying the user has been sent this message, but they did not accept the original message I sent them, which is equals zero. Now that's completed, I am able to then select display when or the trigger when this message occurs. Because this is an in-app message template, I can then say user starts the app or resumes the app, as well as another behavior uh, they might do as they are in my app itself. You can as well add a holdback group. Uh, a holdback group simply allows you to see the overall impact of this message across your user base. Uh, a holdback group essentially a way for you to be able to say a small percentage of my users will not receive this message who should have received it and then you're able to compare analytics based on those behaviors. And that's it. You can go ahead and start uh, this campaign right away and see your overall analytics. If you have additional questions, feel free to email us at support at leanplum.com and a CSM or TSC will be happy to help you. Cheers. Thank you.